Hello there, train fans. T-Bone here at T-Bone's Trains, continuing on the journey from my 1964 Marks train set oval to some more O-Gage fun. Today, I want to show you playing around with the layout. So here's my 6x10 foot train board, and rail number one is still the Lionel O-Gage with O31 curves. My plan is to keep that nice big oval like a test track with no obstacles, always ready to run a train. Rail number two, still the twice around railroad, but I've taken out the X crossing and replaced it with Mark's trestles. All 14 of them going up and down, but I still kept it as large as it would fit inside rail number one. It's still got that nice big 048 curve at the far end. I'm thinking to run counterclockwise, so when that consist barrels down the trestles, it'll have a nice gradual curve to negotiate. The rest of, the, the rest of that rail number two has uh, 027 curves in it. Rail number three has another big change. Still following the as much track as I can fit on the board theme, I've added four mark switches and so now rail three can be either the figure eight or an oval. All right, let's see, uh, keep looking around here. Got a couple of consists ready to roll and let's move some trains. Okay, before we uh, start running the trains, this is my first setup uh, with uh, the trestles, and I've got the clips anchoring them as best I could. But uh, hey, friends, if you notice something, uh, let, I'd like to hear from you. Sit, put it, something in the comments or send me an email. Um, looking forward to tapping into all the wisdom and experience that's uh, out there in train land. So um, help me out, but uh, all in spirit of having fun with the trains. Okay, getting fancy with the camera techniques here. It really is uh, quite a job. Engineer, um, conductor, editor, camera person, all at once. Ooh, fun view. Got some new friends uh, in the infield there uh, that haven't been, haven't been tested yet. Uh, they're gonna have to stay off rail number three though. They've all got the large gear uh, drive wheels, so they'll never make it over those switches. But uh, the 666, Engines should have no problem getting around. Got the some eight wheel cars. It's got uh, rail rail two's got the the template four wheel cars going. All right, I think about ready to get rolling here. Here's Dad's Commodore Vanderbilt, shiny and new from 1940. Oh yeah, the template tender. Uh, having trouble staying on the rail kept either decoupling or uh, or derailing so until I have time to play with that we'll just have to pull on something else all right I think we're about ready here left the camera behind snaps into action Quite a little chunk there over that switch. Help me out if you've got any tips on smoothing that out. Oh. And yes, the unit is still working. That's kind of a cool shot going up there, up the hill. So as I went in to get start filming, uh, rail one was active finicky so it's just sitting idle today but you can still see the cars going and I still enjoy just watching the two or two or more rails of cars uh, dancing around past each other Whoa. I think uh, some traction goop on the wheels will help uh, climb that a little easier and here comes the descent into that big 048 curve, no problem. Nice. So rail three is running the the tiny oval now. I haven't measured that out yet, but I'm gonna guess maybe six by by three, six by four, eh, something like that. Camera wizardry, wizardry. Yes. Ooh, 
I shot up, up above. Cinematic award is in the making, huh? see what these switches will do. Yeah, it's nice, nice. So track three is now an oval, figure eight, and switchable oval so we can change direction without without having to stop the train if we need want to So as we wind on down here, it's about it for now. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please type them into the comment box below or email me at tbonebush at yahoo.com. Let's have some fun with trains. Thanks for watching. See you next time.